Hello, this is the MFJ264 dummy load and it's rated from 1 megahertz up to 650 megahertz. So today we're going to look with another tool which we'll just scroll down to. And here you will see if we can get it centered roughly. This is the Mini 1300, the Mini 1300 HF, VHF, UHF antenna analyzer. It's rated from 0 0.1 to 1300 megahertz, 1.3 gigs. Sadly, I don't believe this is a original device. It won't get to 1300 megs. In fact, it tops out at 999 megs. But anyway, we'll have a little play with it and um, we'll see what the SWR graph looks like on this particular dummy load. Now, it has been calibrated. There's three steps to the calibration and that comes in under the configuration, calibration and what we did is the OSL calibration and that's where you set it up for, in this particular case, 0 ohms, 50 ohms and open circuit, infinite. And I've done that with the tools provided by the, uh, the reseller. And what we'll do now is um, go and have a look at some of the uh, graphs of the SWR that we'll have, that we'll get from this device. Now first off, let's do a frequency sweep and we'll run from 1 megahertz up to 700 megahertz. 650 is the limit of the um, dummy load and we'll just hit the scan button and let it do a scan for us. And as you can see, it's not flat. And in fact, if we oops, hold this still and move along here, at around about this point, the SWR starts to rise. At that point, we're at 391 megahertz, and we're looking at one to one. We'll come back later on to um, the, the lower frequencies, but to me this is not going to work up to 650 megahertz um, with any results that I would like. Now, fortunately I don't have any transmitters that um, will transmit over 450 megs at this moment due to my license, so that's not going to be too much of a problem with this dummy load. As you'll see as well. Also I have noticed that the cables used with this Mini 1300 are very touchy. I'm currently using one of these little thin nice well rated high frequency cables. I do have several of them. We have all sorts of connectors on them. Whoops. Well, I'll show you a connector if it didn't have the cap on it, but here we go. So this one in series to SMA and it's supposed to be flexible. It's not it's as stiff as a board. It's a terrible cable. But in saying that, I do have a large number of nicely flexible cables that are all rated for the right frequencies and will that focus? Yeah, close to it. And so I've tested them and that's what we're going to use. Alright, let's just change our parameters and we'll sweep from say 1 megahertz. Well no, let's use ham frequencies. We'll go from 3.5 megs 
up to 30 megs, so 80 meters through to 10 meters. Okay, let's select 80 meters to 10 meters, and we'll select 80 meters there, and we'll just increase up to 30 meg. Okay, that and scan it. Sorry about the car noises in the background. It's very difficult to get perfect quiet. Right, there we have it. As you can see, the green line across the bottom is completely flat. And if we were to scan it, we would notice that there's an SWR of 1.1. So that's 1.1 to 1, and that's perfectly fine. So Let's uh, change our parameters and we'll go up to the 2 meter band. Right now we're going to go to the 2 meter band. You will probably say, why aren't you looking at 6 meters? Well, first off, I'm not allowed to transmit on 6 meters, but secondly, um, it's dead flat at that point as well, as you saw in that first graph. So here we'll start 2 meters, 144. Whoops. 148, which you'll see in the frequencies across the bottom. Start the scan. Watch in waiting. And there again we have it. Dead flat right across 1.1 to 1. And um, 2 meters, that dummy load is not going to be a problem. Or this Mini one, uh, Mini 1300 is a problem and is reporting the wrong things. Let's step up to 70 centimetres. And 420 to 450. So I want 30 megs there. Scan that. And we're going to notice this is where things aren't quite the same. So if we turn on our indicator, we'll start down here at say it's just above 420 megs and we've got an SWR of 1.3 to 1. We scroll up through and we're sitting here just nearly, we'll just bump it a bit. 440 megs, SWR is 1.7 to 1 and that to me would not be acceptable as a SWR it's usable, obviously anything below 2 is usable but um, I, like, I don't like throwing my hard earned power away right up the top here 2 to 1 at 450 megs and Again, 2 to 1 is usable, not something I would really want to be calibrating to. But there again, your mileage may vary. You may prefer, or you may decide that that's fine for you. Right, here we are on the web page for the MFJ264. And there's a, a brief look at the specifications for it. As you can see, they're talking about an impedance of 50 ohms VSWR of less than 1.3 to 1 at less than 650 megs. We didn't see that, and the reason for that, I don't know. It, my cables have been tested from connector to connector on the spectrum analyzer. There's no loss there, and everything looks okay. So it's either the dummy load itself or the Mini 1300 analyzer. So um, I'm going to have to get more creative, find some other way to test it. But for what it is and for the frequencies I use, that dummy load will be fine. Anything above that, well, there's nothing really. At 70 centimetres, we're still under, what, 2.1, uh, 1 to 2.0 rather. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, um, really, totally. But it would be nice to be flat right across as they sort of suggested it should be. Okay, let's um, leave this screen and come back to this one. Um, that's it really in a nutshell. The Mini 
1300. I bought it online from a supplier in America who actually purchased it from Amazon and shipped it to me. I probably could have got the same deal straight from Amazon but you learn these things as you go along. I haven't used it much at all to be honest. Um, I lent it to a friend and he actually had it longer than I have so uh, I've still got more learning to do. But I have my doubts that this is actually as accurate as it says it should be. Okay, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and um, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.